It's a tool. You get that? This will mm -hmm. remove it. Magnets inside. I'll put it here. There's nothing under this point on the head, but I think this will come out. We'll find out. retainer for the spring. The two things are in here. Got that? Mm-hmm. I'll show them in a second. So, tapered keepers and there's spring seat. Upper spring seat. Put those there. You can take out the spring we're not going to reuse. Then I'm going to start installing the one that was already out next to it. It's just kind of my process. And I have them soak the valve soaking in cleaner in between. So pull out old valve sim steel, valve sim stem seal. These are from the other And we'll take out this valve. So I tip it up. It's right there. It's already falling out because these seals are pretty loose. This. The guides feel good though, so valves out. You can see the one I'm going to put in now will go there. This one I'm going to soak while I put the other one in. Over here. So I've had one soaking. I'll take it out. Cut a quick brush off. These didn't have anywhere near as much carbon on them as the exhaust valves. These have very little, and what's on the face I'm going to clean off when I do the top of the inside of the head, so I'm not too worried about that. I just want to make sure the back side is free of anything major. So I'm going to wipe it all off. I'm trying to get all this off so I don't get... I don't know if this stuff will attack the valve stem seals, carb cleaner stuff, so I want it all off. A good wipe down. Alright, we'll set this aside. Now it's <clears throat> second to last new valves and stem seal. I'm going to load it up on the puller gently. I don't even have to hold it that tightly. Just enough to keep it from falling. A little assembly lube just to keep the inside of it greased up for when it goes on. I'll give it a little right, so this will go on. You can see it from here. I don't know if you can see it from that angle. You can look down in the bottom there. No, go more this way. Hmm? This way. Look at my feet. Yeah, down that way. You're pointing. Now lower. Mm -hmm. It's hard to see it. I can see it because of my light. You can see it that way. Some people pry them out with a screwdriver this way, but this tool makes it a lot easier. Half these tools are single use because I don't plan on doing this again anytime soon. Oh well. So now I'm going to. I'll take them. Maybe I'll have to do it at some point. <laughs> That's why you're watching filming. I'm going to lube up the valve stem. Mm -hmm. so, if you, I don't know if you can see that or not, but end of the hole, pop it through. So I'm going to take this, it's just a pack underneath the valve stem because when I hammer it on the spring, I don't want the valve stem to drop down any. There's a way to do this on the heads. People take nylon rope and coil it down into the spark plug holes. Then they bring the piston up and it keeps all the valves shut so you don't have to pull the head off the car if you if you have to do valve stem seals in the car. Works pretty well. The video I watched on how to do this was a guy doing the rope way. So here, look at this. It's easier if you pre-assemble these than if you try to drop them in up top. If you keep your finger in the middle, it'll lock it over, it'll grab the top of the valve stem to hold it in place. They can be kind of staggered or offset, but it doesn't, this seems way easier. I just dropped it in. 
can you get a shot in there? Look that way. So that's ready to go in. Now I use this tool. Same hammer thing. It's got a little spring load and it will push Punch down. It. It'll keep these guys pushed down when I hammer. And sometimes it takes two hits. Sometimes one pops and the other doesn't. So that only took one hit, if you want to check it. It's nice and flat. Sometimes one will be a little bit hung up more than the other. I'm going to give it another pound. Actually, it almost doesn't matter. I'll just check it again. Looks good. Um, and now I'm going to do the last one, so you can stop recording.